Look at this, guys. The first, what you should uh, estimate. Uh, the CTG consists of two parts. What do you see? You see the uterine constructions, the uterine action, mm -hmm. and the next condition of the heart baby. Rate. Yet heart rate. And you see the scale. Mm -hmm. And guys, you know that normal fetal heart rate is 110, 117. Uh, one, according to the international guideline, 120, 160. 120, 160, according to the international guideline. 119, this is bradycardia. Mm -hmm. But this is not fetal distress. Okay. And, and guys, one six, one six zero, right? so normal one zero. fetal one heart rate, rate according to the international guideline, mm -hmm. 120, 160. 160. 160. 161, mm -hmm. 180, tachycardia. tachycardia. More than 180, express tachycardia. This is fetal distress. Mm -hmm. Less mm -hmm. than 120, right. but right. more than 100, Bradycardia, but this is not fetal distress. Mm -hmm. Less yes. than 100, mm -hmm. this fetal is expressed bradycardia, fetal, fetal distress. Mm -hmm. So, in this situation, in this CTG, you see fetal heart rate between 140 and 160. So, you see normal fetal heart rate, mm -hmm. and we don't see any signs of fetal distress. So, if you see such CTG during your exam, because this is the second part of this practical skill. You should say, my teacher, woman is in labor because we see uterine construction and we see normal fetal condition. We see normal, we don't see any signs of fetal distress. Mm -hmm. The next, what do you see? Woman isn't in labor because we don't see uterine construction. And again, we see normal fetal heart rate, normal fetal condition. Fetal you see fetal distress because during 10 minutes I see expressed, 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 expressed not bradycardia, this is not fetal distress. Okay. If you say bradycardia, this is not correct answer. Okay. This is not a big mistake, so express but bradycardia. express bradycardia. Because why? You see 100, less than 100, this is express bradycardia. So my teacher, on this CTG, I see express bradycardia, I see fetal distress. My patient needs emergency delivery. Contractions, but what else? Tachycardia, tachycardia, more than 180 heartbeats per minute. So my teacher, this is express tachycardia, fetal, fetal distress. distress. My, my patient needs emergency delivery. The next, guys. By from this moment, fetal heart rate around 60 heartbeats per minute, so less than 100. So again, express tachycardia, fetal distress. My patient needs emergency delivery. From this moment to this moment, you see normal heart mm -hmm. fetal heart rate and normal amplitude. Mm -hmm. So several minutes you see normal fetal condition. Mm -hmm. But my teacher, from this moment to this moment, I see normal fetal heart rate because around 140, 130. Yeah. But in this situation it doesn't matter because what uh, uh, I see. I see the monotonic rhythm. Low amplitude. This is normal amplitude. Mm -hmm. Look, this is normal amplitude plus normal fetal heart rate. Mm -hmm. But from this moment, I see normal fetal heart rate, but I see low amplitude, mm -hmm. less than five uh, heartbeats per minute. Mm -hmm. So this is my teacher, monotonic rhythm. Mm -hmm. Monotonic rhythm, this is again signs of the fetal, fetal distress. distress. So, my teacher, my patient again needs emergency delivery because this is fetal distress. I mean, from this moment. Mm -hmm. Woman isn't in labor because I don't see uterine constructions. And again, my teacher, you see, I see normal fetal heart rate between 120 to 150. It doesn't matter, mm -hmm. 120, 150. Mm -hmm. But again, it doesn't matter, 
Why? Because I see sinusoidal rhythm. In case of sinusoidal rhythm, it doesn't matter the fetal heart rate. Mm -hmm. This is fetal distress mm -hmm. uh, for you, for you. Uh, sinusoidal rhythm, the, uh, uh, most often, is caused by hemolytic disease, mm -hmm. most often. You mustn't say during the exam, for you only. Oh, right now, I mean. So this is the typical sinusoidal rhythm. So this is the sign of fetal distress. So in this situational task, it doesn't matter that fetal heart rate is normal. I see the sign of fetal distress. A woman needs, my patient needs emergency delivery. Again, uterine constructions. And high, uh, guys, the height of the wave is more than 30 heartbeats per minute, between 140 and 80, so 60 heartbeats. This type is called saltatory rhythm. Saltatory rhythm for you, most often caused by intrauterine compression of the umbilical cord. So this is fetal distress. This type of CTG is called saltatory rhythm. Again, my patient needs emergency delivery because this is fetal distress. Instructions. And guys, you see tachycardia, but not express tachycardia because this is 180, less than 180, but more than 160. This is tachycardia. This is not fetal distress, but this is a questionable situation. But what else do you see? You see trying constructions and short term bradycardia because bradycardia is 60 mm. bits. Mm -hmm. After, look, after uterine construction. This situation in obstetrics is called late decelerations. Late decelerations, <coughs> my teacher, this is the sign of fetal distress. Mm -hmm. My patient again needs emergency delivery. So, guys, fetal distress. We see normal fetal heart rate, we see no normal amplitude, we don't see late deceleration, monotonic rhythm, sinusoidal rhythm, we don't see, see any signs of fetal disease. Normal fetal condition. On this CTG, again, we, see, we don't see any signs of fetal distress. If you see such CTG during OSCE, you should say this is normal fetal condition. Remember, several students will see fetal distress. Other students will see normal uh, uh, CTGs. So, contractions is not... Uh, no, uh, no contraction and you see contraction. But um, for this practical skill, it doesn't matter. You should estimate the fetal, fetal condition. condition and you should uh, choose between normal delivery and emergency delivery. In this situation, a woman needs emergency delivery. In this situation, she doesn't need. In this situation, she doesn't. Observation in dynamic. And what is this? Express. You see, express bradycardia. So this is fetal discharge. So guys, and then next four necessary sentences. I should give this information to my uh, patient, explain the result of the CTG. I should thank, wash, and